G'day aspiring engineers. In this beginners level tutorial, we're going to learn about bodies and components. I'm going to go nice and slowly so that you can follow along and I'm going to try to explain everything step by step. This is really beginners level and it's ideal for those that have just finished the 16 basic tutorials in Fusion 360. Now that you can make a part and you're probably pretty confident about making parts, now it's time to start making parts that can fit together. And uh, that's where we're headed, but it's still going to be really simple modeling at the moment. And what we're going to concentrate is on this browser tree on the left hand side here. That's what we're going to be focusing on and that's what you really need to understand. It's a bit of a trick and uh, it'll stop you from going much further. But if you get this, you'll be able to go further. Welcome to Future Engineering. The future starts now. Right, here's Fusion 360, and uh, you can see that I've got the educational license. At the moment, it's April of 2021. And so the user interface is a little different than when the original 16 basic tutorials were made. And so this is going to be the same whether you've got the full commercial license or the educational or the personal use license or the startup license. But let's do a couple of things before we start. First thing I'm going to do is right click on the top of the tree and capture design history. That puts this bar down the bottom here and we're going to see the uh, all the features of the model in the timeline. There's a little uh, gear icon in the timeline down the bottom at the far right. Click on that little gear and turn on component color swatch. I'll show you what that's all about shortly. You see it now toggled on. Uh, it's really helpful. It's a really nifty trick. Let's have that on and let's get on with it. So the very first thing I'm going to do is click on the little save icon here and save this document. And I'm going to call it Component Tutorial. And I'll save it in Component Tutorials. I've made a folder already. Notice that when I save the document, the top of the tree takes on the name of the document. Component Tutorial here and at the top of the tree here. All right, let's make a start. What I'm going to do first off is right click on the top of the tree and choose New Component. It's the top of the flyout menu here. It says New Component. The New Component dialog box opens up and I'm going to change the name of this thing to Base. OK. And there we have the first component in the feature tree here. It says Base. It's got the little colon 1 just meaning it's the first version of it. Notice that there's a little radio button which is active there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the visibility of the origin of the document. There it is. Let's start a sketch. And let's choose the, the YZ plane at the back there. Now I'm going to do the whole sketch in one. Just follow along with me here. The width of this is 40. Tab to go to the height. And this is 60 high. Hit the D key for the dimension tool. I'm going to go from the point of origin to the top of the rectangle and make that 20. I'm going to make sure that this thing is centered up nicely. I'm going to put uh, 20 from the center to the side. C for circle, starting on the point of origin. And we'll make this one 15. C for circle again, point of origin. This one 30. Now a rectangle, R for rectangle, and I'm just going to put this up here somewhere, and uh, it's going to be 10 wide, tab, and 6 high. Then I'm going to use D for dimension, and I'm going to put the bottom of that rectangle to the center of the document, and it's going to be 3. I'm going to make sure that it's five from one side of the rectangle to the to the point of origin and that's it finish sketch now notice that i made that sketch and the radio button next to base one is active it's been toggled on and that means that the sketch that i've just created is here under base one i can turn it on and off that is the visibility on and off now I'm going to make the base and I'm going to have the base active like that. Right, let's hit the E key for extrude. 
then uh, I'm going to select the whole of this profile except for the smallest round circle. The distance is going to be minus 15 and OK. All right, that's the base. The next thing we need to do is activate the top of the tree. Right click on the top of the tree and click on New Component one more time. And uh, this time we're going to call it Boss. OK. Notice that uh, we have another component in the tree and the one that was just created is activated. The little radio button is selected. You notice that I can uh, activate other parts of the tree and uh, this is base one. The base is now active but I want to have the boss active even though there's nothing in it yet. Everything else is grayed out. I hit the E key, select the profile and it's just that one. It's the annulus with the keyway taken out of it. I'm going to start from an offset from the profile plane and the distance of the offset is going to be 15 and the distance is going to be also 15. And you see what that does is it creates the extrusion from an offset plane from the sketch in 15 in the positive direction and for a distance of 15 millimeters in the positive direction. So there's the boss. Now I'm going to activate the top of the tree and right click new component, call this one shaft and OK. Notice that there's a new feature in the tree. It's a component. We can tell it's a component because it's got this cube as an icon. Next to the little I, there's a cube which indicates that it's a component. If we open up the boss, we can see that there's a body and that body has a little cylindrical shaped icon. A component has a cubic shape. We'll see this as you become more familiar with it as we go. The fact that the shaft is activated, it's the active component, means that everything else is greyed out and because we turned on the sketch earlier the sketch is still visible and that's what I'm going to use to create the shaft. So I'll hit the E key for the extrude dialog box. The profile is the shaft itself and I'm going to click on both parts of the shaft including the place that was going to be negative space for the keyway later on. I'm going to start from the profile plane. I'm going to go in two directions and so we have side one and side two in the dialog box now and they're both going to be a distance and the distance for the first one is going to be, let's see now, I'm going to come 15 through the gap 15 through the boss and I want to come out a little bit further so that's going to be 35. And so there's that part of it. Now the extent for side 2 is going to be a distance and it's going to be a negative direction this time so I'm going to put minus the thickness of the base is 15. Oop, it looks like it will take the positive number just fine there. That's good and OK. So there's the shaft. Let's make the top of the tree active by activating that. Click in the window next to the assembly. And so now you can see we've got an assembly of three parts, three components, and we can also see the sketch. Now, remember I got you to toggle on the component color swatch down here. And what that does is it gives the, uh, the components in the tree, and there's three of them at the moment. There's the base, the boss, and the shaft. It gives them a color and you see that the shaft is orange, the boss is green and the base is this light blue color. If you go to the inspect menu and go right down to the bottom of it you see component color cycling toggle. Click once on that and that gives the components the same color that they've been assigned in the tree. So the boss is that light green, the base is the light blue and the shaft is the orange. Now this has nothing to do with the appearance of this thing in a render. It's just an aid for modeling and it allows you to quite easily see that you've got three separate components here easily visible within their particular colors. The next thing I want to do is put the keyway in the shaft. You can see that we've got the keyway in the boss and it needs to be in the shaft as well. So what I'll do is hide the boss just for the moment by clicking on the little eye next to the boss and it disappears from view. 
Now I want to do a sketch to make the cutout for the keyway. But the first thing I need to do is to activate the shaft. Now you have to get in the habit of activating the shaft by clicking on the little radio button next to the component. This is quite important. So now when I click on the Create Sketch, I'm going to choose the top of the... And you notice that we can choose just about any plane or face in the model at the moment, including the ones that are greyed out. This is the top of the base. That's the plane that I want to have the sketch on. And uh, so we can actually put the sketch for the shaft keyway on the top of the base. So L for line. I'm going to click somewhere around here. I don't care exactly where this goes as long as when I click again it's perfectly horizontal and it will snap to horizontal. Vertical, horizontal and I'm going to mouse over the place where I began in order to get these tracking lines and then I'm going to drag and click and so that I get the nice round curve at the end of this sketch. Now D for dimension, I'll put a couple of dimensions on here the key that we've chosen here is 10 millimeters wide. I'm going to use D for dimension and I'm going to choose the edge of the sketch and the point of origin of the document. And I want this to be a distance of 5. But let's make sure that we've got the right size on this dimension. And I want to make sure that there's a distance between the point of origin of the curve at the end of this thing and the point of origin of the document. And that needs to be a little bit less than 10 so I'll make it 8 and I do notice that there's a tangent constraint missing from this point here so what I'll do is start the tangent constraint tool click once on this sketch line another on the curve and now it's nicely constrained this one is just out in space and that's okay with me finish the sketch there it is. I want this to be a cut that goes in the downward direction. And remember that it's 20 millimeters from the top of the base to the center of the shaft. So I want this to go down 17 millimeters. So I hit the E key, select the profile. It's going to go in a negative direction to so minus 17. And it's a cut. OK. Let's turn on the visibility of the boss again. Make the top of the tree active. Click once in the window. And now we have our keyway as we like it. Right click on the top of the tree, new component, and this time we'll give it a name key. OK. Notice that as we create it, it has become the active component. So I'm going to hit E for extrude. And the profile is going to be the two parts of the sketch for the key. The start of this extrusion is going to be from an offset plane. And the offset is going to be in a positive direction 15 and it's going to go for 15 millimeters now what I'm going to do is activate the top of the tree click somewhere in the window I'm going to turn off the visibility of that original sketch and you can see that we have our key in the keyway As you can see, we have four components in the tree now, each one colored according to the component color cycling toggle. It's just a very simple assembly. What I want you to notice is that we have each part of the assembly is a component of its own within the document. Now, when we've got all four components visible here, you can see in the timeline below that the features that relate to each component are visible. Now, if we were to activate the base, for instance, by clicking on its radio button, the timeline is filtered so that we only see the features that pertain to the base. Let's activate the boss and have a look at that one. Only the green, the light green features are activated, and it was just one extrude to make that boss. Let's activate the shaft. As you can see, there are just a few features that are about the shaft, the orange ones. Let's activate the key. And again, one feature for the key, and that's the blue one. Right now, there's one more thing I want to show you, and that is that we have the sketch for all of the components here in the base. Let's say we wanted to have that sketch under the head of the tree rather than in one of the components. What we can actually do is just click and drag to the place where we want it to be and it's now no longer in the base as you can see but it is now in the head of the tree 
you to drag and drop interface here. Let's try something else here. I'll open up the base, open up the bodies folder. There's the body of the base and that can be dragged into another one. I've just dragged it into the key. And so now the key has two bodies in that component. And notice that the base now takes on the color of the key. That is the blue. Let's put it back where it was. And now it is uh, the same color as the uh, original base, the light blue, rather than the dark blue. There you go. If you learned something, hit the like button for me. And watch out for some more tutorials in this playlist over the next few weeks. Bye for now.